everybody, so in video 1995 we made this thing, it's an Archimedes wind turbine and we made it just really to test this bearing and the magnetic bearings but it worked really really well and I put this big disc on the bottom to see how it would do as a generator and we held a coil against it and to be honest I was quite impressed by it. So I decided I'd make a bigger version with an integrated generator and I drew this up in Tinkercad and you will notice it only has five parts and here are the five parts. There is a base unit like that and on mine I've just stuck a bit of 8mm steel bar in it and it goes that way around, it looks a bit like a satellite dish. This section here has got uh, holes in for bearings and it will take a bearing so it can swivel round to point in the direction of the wind but that is the base unit. The next thing we've got are these. These are the generator. Now it's going to be an axial flux coreless generator so we have two magnetic discs facing each other that way and in there we've got a hole that will take a 15 millimeter circular neodymium magnet because I've got a whole bunch of 15 millimeter circular neodymium magnets. Now these are uh, 4.5 millimeters deep, this is uh, 10 millimeters deep and they go in like that in a north-south-north-south south, on both discs and you'll notice there's a bearing in the centre that bearing is a skater bearing 22 mil, 8 mil by 7 mil and of course it slides on the metal bar that we've just put there the next bit we've got is this which is a coil support for a um, serpentine coil this coil is uh, 400 turns of 0.2 millimetre wire wound in a serpentine and that's the coil former the last thing we've got is the actual Archimedes screw bit itself. Now on the original version, wherever I've put that, uh, here we go, we had a straight bar. With this bling here, I was thinking the wind works best coming in that direction. It's then basically hitting a wall. So I've put a cone in the center of that to kind of ease that spread as the wind is diverted over the screw. So those are our five parts. Now to put them together, we've got an 8mm bar in there, we put the magnets in there and then we slot them together and that slots on there, the coil slots on top like that and then when we put the magnets in that one slots on top like that. Now these two, the top and the bottom here, will lock together because they're magnetic attraction so they'll lock forming a magnetic field that will spin. On the top here we put our cone so that's the plan, all I've got to do now is put my magnets in there north south north south to wind the serpentine coil well I've done a ton of videos on that and it's the same process wind a coil wind it in a serpent anyway let's put the magnets in and slot that together okay so that's it put together now bear in mind this is a generator for any circumstance we're going to put a wind turbine on that actually obviously this wind turbine but you could put it on a water wheel you could put it on a hand generator you could actually have it as a horizontal wind turbine if you wanted so that generator is uh, I think a nice construction but we put it together I've got a voltmeter on it we're going to spin it up and see what we get as a kind of a voltage reading out of just the generator section because obviously all we have to do then is put some kind of way of turning it and then we'll have ourselves a wind turbine but let's see what we get on this I'm quite excited to see what this does <laughs> 41 volts really? Yeah. <laughs> that's impressive <laughs> like wow Okay, so we brought it outside, we're getting a wind speed around about 1.22 meters per second, so we'll give it a go and see if it'll spin in that. And as you can see, all I've done is I've stuck the Archimedes screw on top of that generator section. Now it was rubbing, so I've changed the file a little bit, we've got a little prop here and we've got a spacer between these two to hold it apart, but I'm just here to see if it will spin in the wind, if we can get it to spin in the wind in real world conditions, of course we can replicate those in the lab and we can get some uh, amp readings out of it and see what we've got. So let's give it a go and see if it'll actually spin and it'll be, so it should be, set on a pole like that. That's 0.9 meters a second and it's actually starting to turn. <laughs> 
1.6 meters per second. Well, that is spinning. Okay, that's going billy. Oh, it's only two meters a second wind. <laughs> okay, that's awesome, eh? So now we can set up a fan. We can put some meters on it because I'm not logging meters out to the park and see what we're getting out of it. But we know it works in real world conditions. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.